going on everybody welcome back to another video today we got the mercedes right here inside the garage we already got the front end all assembled up the front headlight right here this is what i was talking about it's cracked right here so this is definitely going to be replaced i know they sell some lenses that you can just take this off and replace them i'm not sure exactly what route i'm going to go but i'm pretty sure i'm going to end up replacing this whole assembly the front bumper as you can see the tabs are broken this fender right here is pushed in this side everything lines up so everything's pretty much right where it should be this little trim piece right here it just needs to be popped in so we already went ahead and got all the parts in for the mercedes if you guys don't remember the lower control arm was pretty much toast we already went ahead and replaced it with the new one and we're just waiting for the axle and the sway bar end link and we just got them right here if you guys want to order some parts for mercedes this axle right here i got a quote from mercedes dealership and this was eleven hundred dollars so if you guys have a Mercedes and you guys wanna buy some parts, I went ahead and ordered from mbpartsource.com. And these guys are located up there in Laredo, Texas. So if you guys have a Mercedes, go ahead and check these guys out because they got the best prices in town. I think I ended up paying like $630 for this axle and it's coming straight from the dealership. There's no question about it. Let's go ahead and get this axle installed, put it in the car and see what she does. go we're in all right so i finally got it in a couple things to mention uh, be sure not to pull this axle too far up it is going to come out of the cup so don't push it out so far because if it does you're gonna have to take this apart line it back up insert it and then get some more axle clamps come back on uh, that's what happened to me so be sure don't like, overextend it and everything's in I got the bottom nut for the lower control arm on. I haven't tightened it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, we got the axle in. We just gotta tighten it up. But before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and install the tie rod end. We already went ahead and tightened everything in. Tie rod end and the lower control arm. Now we just need to tighten up the axle. So we're gonna get a screwdriver, stick it in here so the, the rotor won't rotate. Cause what happens is it's gonna start turning. So we're gonna stick a screwdriver in here and then we're gonna get that torqued down. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the cover on the actual nut. Okay. Hit it. That's it? Is it in? Yep. Okay. All right, so here it is. This is the GLB 250 we bought from the auction from Phoenix, Arizona. So I got a little ahead of myself and I ended up getting the car fixed before showing you guys exactly what was wrong with it. But now I'm gonna tell you guys, I ended up fixing the lower control arm, the axle and the sway bar end link. I bought a new light and that's basically it. I just sent it out to the body shop. I was limited on time. So they fixed the fender, the bumper, they repainted it and they fixed the driver door. So everything's pretty much done, ready to roll. I uh, already got this thing registered and this thing runs and drives perfect just like it was from factory i thought this was pretty cool to show you the the performance the horsepower the battery voltage the engine torque and then the psi on the turbo obviously this thing is not really that fast but pretty cool little feature that they added right here before we end this video let's go ahead and and see how this works because I, I haven't uh i haven't tried this myself I got ahead of myself on this one. I should record the whole process, but I was running low on time. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on this next video. Peace out guys.